A coalition of opposition House of Assembly candidates has asked security agencies to declare Ondo State a red spot ahead of the Saturday's House of Assembly elections. The coalition, which comprises candidates of the People's Democratic Party PDP, and the Social Democratic Party SDP, made the demand on Tuesday at an emergency press conference held in Nakur, the Ondo State capital. Speaking on behalf of the candidates, Ebenzer Adenian, the SVP candidate seeking to represent Akira South constituency I at the State House of Assembly, said the coalition had uncovered a grand plot to cause violence and manipulate Saturday's House of Assembly election. He alleged that the All Progressives Congress APC, had perfected plans to rig the assembly elections by contracting members of the National Union of Road Transport Workers and URTW. According to Adenian, the plot being hatched by Ratimi Akaradolu, governor of Ondo State, is to favor all APC candidates contesting in Saturday's parliamentary election. The SDP candidate added that Akaradolu had been holding a series of meetings with artisans, government workers and traders in the state ahead of the election, and is too desperate to manipulate the elections. He explained that the coalition had petitioned the security agencies in the state on the matter. We wish to bring to your notice the clandestine plot by Governor Olawar Atimi Akaradolu and the leadership of the National Union of Road Transport Workers and URTW to cause mayhem in the House of Assembly elections on behalf of the All Progressives Congress APC. He said, this plot was hatched as a result of the poor performance of the APC in the February 23rd presidential and national assembly elections in Ando State, particularly in the central senatorial district where the party did not win any seat. The coming House of Assembly election has therefore been tagged must-win for the party, using all means necessary. It is on this note that we are calling on all the security agencies to declare Ondo State a flashpoint in red spot in the build-up to the House of Assembly elections coming up on Saturday in the state. The APC government also plans to influence a reduction in the presence of security officers in polling units where the attacks would be carried out. We should all take note that the factors that precipitated the 1983 election crisis in Ondo State, especially in Akure, are at play here again. The governor, as the number one citizen of the state and chief security officer saddled with responsibility to protect the lives and properties of the citizens, should know the implications if he is the one emboldening, threatening and coaxing thugs to cause political violence. It should be noted that the citizens would be prepared to defend themselves against their governor and his thugs. The people of Ondo State must be allowed to make their choice freely on March 9 without intimidation and violence. The desperation of Governor Akaradolu and a PC to gain control of the state by declaring war on the people would be resisted by our members as this state belongs to all of us. In his remarks, Laid Fasuat, the PDP contesting to represent Akira South constituency too, said the opposition candidates are ready to resist any attempt by Akaradolu and the APC to manipulate the House of Assembly elections. We shall encourage our followers, members of our parties and the people to defend themselves and their votes on March 9th. To forestall breakdown of law and order before, during and after the election, we therefore call on all the security agencies in the state, critical stakeholders to call the governor to order and do everything possible to protect the people of Ondo State and their votes on March 9th. The 1983 political violence and its aftermath still linger on. Governor Akaradolu should not set the state on fire because of his desperation, Asua said.